Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Easter spring decor DIYs using mostly items from Dollar Tree. For our first project, we're going to start off with this sign from Dollar Tree, remove the backing, and because the lettering is so dark green, I tried to remove the paper, and since I wasn't very successful, I took some sandpaper to sand that down so that it would not show through when I apply my scrapbook paper. This is scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, and because it is a wood plank design on it, I lined it up where I wanted the lines to show up on the sign before tracing and cutting this out. To attach it to the backing, I'm using a glue stick, really making sure that I emphasize around those outside edges so it'll get a nice good seal. I'll make sure that I smooth the paper out nice and flat. Now I am using this beautiful window cling from Dollar Tree. If you saw my last video, I made a beautiful wreath. I will have that video linked in my description box below if you are interested in watching that. I'm using the Easter Blessings wreath for this project and I am applying it using a thin, even layer of Mod Podge. I just like to fold the top half down after I have it centered where I want it to be. And then I can apply the Mod Podge and then fold that back over, put more Mod Podge on the top, spread it out nice and even, and I'll repeat the same process on the bottom half. And I'm going from the center outwards to push any air bubbles or wrinkles out. And then to make sure that it has a nice matte finish all throughout, I'll go over the entire piece. For the frame, I'm going to give it one base coat of white chalk paint because the frame was so dark green. Allow that to dry and then I can come in with my chalk paint in the color Sage made by Folk Art. It is an absolutely beautiful green color. I'm going to give this two coats on the front and the back the entire frame. And now that that has dried, as well as the Mod Podge has dried on the backing, I can just place my backing right back into the frame. And of course, I didn't realize that I put it on upside down, but that's okay because I'm not going to be hanging mine up. I'm just going to be setting it on an end table. But I think this turned out to be a very beautiful Easter sign that would really complement your other Easter decor. For project number two, we are going to be starting off with this Dollar Tree frame. Now this came with a glass insert, so I've already removed the glass and then that paper. I'm going to be attaching my scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby directly to the back of the frame. I'm using double-sided sticky tape. In case I decide I want to reuse this frame later on, I can easily remove the scrapbook paper. Now I do have to remove the hanger so that the paper will sit flush on the backing. And once I have all of my tape in place, I can remove that layer of paper off the top to expose the sticky tape. Then apply my scrapbook paper and reapply it back into the frame. Now I do later go back in and add the glass for the frame to the back to make it nice and firm on the front. I'm using this metal bunny that came off of a Dollar Tree sign that I previously used the sign in another DIY. I'm going to use the bunny itself in this project as well as those Easter egg window clings. Now I wanted to attach this beautiful Easter egg with the flowers right on top of the bunny. So I'm using Mod Podge to do that with the same technique where I fold the top part down and do the top layer and then repeat that at the bottom. So if you have any extra window cling hanging off, just trim it from the back side with your scissors. And then I'll go over the top as well as the rest of the metal with the Mod Podge so it'll have the same finish. Once that dries, I can use hot glue directly on the area that it was previously glued down to the other sign to place this right in the center of the picture. And then I will repeat the same Mod Podge process with all of those Easter eggs. Just be careful not to oversaturate your scrapbook paper. Once the Mod Podge dries, this project is finished. It was so easy but I think it turned out so beautiful. You guys let me know what you think of project number two. So project number three, we're gonna use some more window clings. This is so super easy. If you're able to find these night lights at Dollar Tree, they have this 
uh, like plastic square clear piece at the top. And I thought this would be really beautiful to add some of these flowers right directly on the front part of the nightlight. So I lined it up to see exactly where I needed to cut the bottom so that it would sit flush. Then you don't even have to glue this down. You just apply it directly to the nightlight. If you have any excess on those outside edges, you can trim those off with your scissors. And the great thing about this is you can always remove these window clings and change these up for any season or any holiday. Now to get any air bubbles or wrinkles out, you can go over it with a flat edge very, very lightly so that you don't rip the window clean. But look at the detail in this. It is so beautiful and lit up at night. Oh my goodness, it's just so gorgeous. Let me know what you think of project number three. If you're enjoying today's projects and you haven't done so already, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and the notification bell below this video so you'll be reminded the next time I upload a brand new video. To all my current subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Also, don't forget to visit me on all my other social media accounts. All those links are in my description box below. Project number four, we are going to start off with one of Dollar Tree's candle base holders. I don't need the metal part for this project. I just need that nice sturdy base as well as one of Dollar Tree's Hurricane glass vases if it's perfectly right down inside of this base. I am using Walmart's Lamb's Ear. They come two and a little bundle. I believe it was $2. I'm going to use three individual pieces. So you'll have to buy two bundles, but you'll only need one from the other bundle. I'm going to take that first stem and wrap it around the bottom of the hurricane glass vase to form a circle to kind of get my shape. And then I'm going to take the second one and I overlap the leaves right at the bottom of the first stem and continue to form my circle. Repeat the same thing with the third one until it comes completely around. And I'll make sure that everything's going to fit on the bottom of my vase before I go in with those um, twist ties that originally came on the bundles. I'm going to use those to hold these in place until I get it nice and formed and all the leaves going all the way around. Then I'm going to come back in with some floral wire to attach the top parts of each stem to the bottom part of the previous stem, just twisting it really tightly and making sure I tuck those end pieces in so it doesn't scratch anything. And then I also go back over where those twist ties were just to make sure that it has a really nice secure hold and nothing's going to come apart. Then you'll want to fluff your leaves out, make sure it's nice and full all the way around. And we can set this directly on top of that beautiful, almost like concrete base. And then set that to the side for just a moment because we're going to be painting some of these styrofoam Easter eggs. So these are the Easter eggs from Dollar Tree that are ornaments that I've cut the tags off the end. They do have the plain white ones, but I've already used all my small ones up. So I'm going to reuse these and give them a nice pastel color. So I'm using white chalk paint, cameo pink, pumpkin orange, and lemon yellow to create nice, beautiful pastel colors. If you want to see exactly how I mix this paint, I repeated the same process that I did in my previous video, which is linked in my description box. If you want to see the ratio of paint um, for white and the colors to create these pastels. So two pinks, two yellows, and two oranges. And I'm also using some of Dollar Tree's baby's breath. So I'm just going to place my eggs around and play with the placement until I get them exactly where I like the look of it. Then I'm going to set my hurricane container down and hot glue each one of these Easter eggs down. Now, I'm sorry, the hot gluing process, for some reason, the film was very blurry. It was out of focus. So I've already glued all of these Easter eggs down and now I'm going in in between each of the Easter eggs and adding these baby's breath stems to give it a nice full effect all the way around. Once all of those are glued in place, this is just an absolutely beautiful candle holder. I'm gonna take an LED battery operated candle to insert down in there. 
And I think this turned out really beautiful. I love the colors in it. I love the way the pastel colors really complement the lamb's ear. And I can't wait to show you guys at the end of the video how all of these projects look so good together. For the final project in today's video, we are using one of Dollar Tree's ceramic truck planters. It's really cute. It's not really the color that I wanna use for spring. So I'm gonna give this two coats of my sage chalk paint. I painted the entire piece, the bottom, the top, except for the inside where you can put an actual real plant or artificial flowers. Then I'm gonna take my white chalk paint and very carefully go around the indentions of the side windows. This will take two coats as well as the white walls on the tires. I'm going to repeat this exact same process on the other side of the truck as well. Also painting the windshield and both of the headlights. So each side looks exactly alike. It just brings out more of that detail in this cute ceramic planter. Then I'm gonna take a black Sharpie and very carefully go around the tires. I also paint the bottom part of the tire because you can see that when you set it up, you want it to make, a, make it look a little bit more realistic. I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna take the white chalk paint and dry brush around the truck to really bring out the details. This planner has a lot of really beautiful details that you can't really tell with it being a monotone color. So I'm going to go over the fenders, the hood, the front, and just really bring all of those details out to make it look 3D and really beautiful. I'm also going to go over the truck bed and the back side, and then I'm going to create the door frame. I'll do the exact same thing on the other side, and then I'm gonna take a Sharpie just to draw out a nice door handle. And I'll give you a close-up view in just a minute once I get that other side done. This turns out so adorable, so cute. I mean, $1.25, you guys, it's so stinking cute. I do recommend that you go over this with a clear glaze. I used Krylon's Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze Spray, but you could also go over it with some Mod Podge. I put some artificial flowers in the back, but you could put real flowers or a real plant in there if you like. I think it turned out really cute and it looks so good with our previous projects in today's video. So if you have a favorite out of today's video, please let me know in the comments down below. I always love to know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Please take care and I'll see you guys next time.